Goal this time. Counting's there. Kuba Runner from the goal again! And an injury time! It's Jimmy McGonagall who once again brings Kofi in level. Chris, it's at everything. Five minutes to go, Lynch. Looking for Hughes, and it's broken nicely for Bradley. Still full of running. Clips it into the path of McGonagall. He charges past here. Oh, and okay. finishes brilliantly. Jimmy McGonagall has surely sealed Coleraine's progression in the cup. A stunning finish. The comeback is well and truly complete. The holders look like the visitors got their second. Sean Ward lost his spurting and field to clear the ball. And when it fell to Jimmy McGonagall, the striker punished Crusaders. Firing low beyond the reach of O'Neill. After the North Belfast side cleared the initial danger, the ball was put back in. McGonagall picked it up. And already full of confidence from his first goal, he turned and found the same corner. Securing three points and a 3-0 victory, which sends the Bansiders top of the league. And things were looking good when Josh Carson's pass set up Jimmy McGonagall to put the Bansiders into a 27th minute lead. Yeah. Lovely touch by Carson to find Lyons, has made a difference since coming off the bench. Now it's McGonagall cutting inside, might have a go himself, McGonagall driven low, deflected into the bottom corner. The second goal from the Bansiders saw Carson turn provider with an incisive ball in behind the Cliftonville defence for Jamie McGonagall to latch on. It looks as if Coleraine's long unbeaten run is about to come to an end, they're on the attack though, edge of the area with Jamie McGonagall who fires it one and perhaps... Took Coleraine 18 minutes to open the scoring at the showgrounds. Jimmy McGonagall's turn of pace beat the offside trap. He waved his way past Alan Blaney, then Cope. In the second half, McGonagall's confidence levels were still high from his earlier goal as he went on another surging run forward. This time his powerful, dipping shot from distance was soon. To compound the visiting manager's misery, Corian and McGonagall doubled their tally for the afternoon on the R mark. Harkins cross was headed back by Rodney Brown and McGonagall's deft touch guided the ball past Blaney. It was quickly turning into the Jimmy McGonagall show on the north coast. Looking for his hat-trick, the 19-year-old's quick feet and vision almost made it three. Chris Jones, good kick. Here goes McGonagall. It's 1-0, Coleraine. Five minutes of normal time here at the Coleraine showgrounds in the first half and can Jimmy McGonagall score he does Jimmy McGonagall with his 10th goal of the season right in front of the fourth place in the Irish Premiership thanks to a 2-0 win over Dungannon Swifts the hard-working Jimmy McGonagall played in a teasing cross James McLaughlin converted after the break McGonagall got his and Corian's second of the game when he capitalized on a mix-up at the back That stop was to prove vital as nine minutes later, Corian made the breakthrough. Darren McCauley finding Jimmy McGonagall in the box. He rounded. Chip forward. Plenty of space now for Corian. The shot comes in. What a fantastic finish. Advancing forward and finding Jimmy McGonagall, who had made a darting run down the centre of the pitch before dispatching this deft finish. Danger here for Glenn Torn. Carson did well, here he is again, pick up that ball from McGonagall, Harkins over the far side of the box, here's McCauley, it's all the way across, McGonagall, 3-0. It took 30 minutes of the second half for the game to deliver any more action, Jamie McGonagall nipping in under the radar at the back post to double Coleraine's advantage. The front man who got the only goal the last time the side met in November, scoring his third goal in two games. McCauley again. Well won by O'Donnell. Oh, it's 2 0. It's McGonagall. 12 minutes gone in the second half. Corey lead this derby.
Corian through and comes the shot. There's the goal. And Corian with the game just five minutes gone have taken the lead. Well, let's have a look at that again. Jamie McGonagall was played through on goal. You can see very quickly that Sam Johnson came off his line, but he wasn't going to get there in time. Good finish. And Corian lead one nil. Killer. However, the deadlock was broken just after the half hour mark. Lyndon Keane crossed for Jimmy McGonagall to head the bandsiders into it. Conditions worsened in the second half, but it didn't seem to affect McGonagall as he went on a solo run, going past the Carrick midfield and defend. Late in the game, the visitors were pressing for an equaliser, but they left space at the back, which allowed McGonagall to search their own goal and grab his second of the game. Free of Hall. He does well. Mullen. There's a real chance. Lovely goal. And they're right back in it now. McGonagall with the deft touch. Nice build up play from Corain. And the perfect placement on the header. Glenavon 1, Corain 1. McGonagall back to McCauley. Hanging up in the air for Bradley. Cracking pass. McGonagall bearing down a goal. And he has the goal. He earned that one. It's a brace for McGonagall. He had the pace to get on the end of that one. Bradley saw his run. And went one on one, even at a stretch. McGonagall always fancied his chances. And the home side showed their class from the outset, carving apart Stute's back line with this Lyndon Keane and Jimmy McGonagall connection. The rain arrived after half time and it didn't take Oren Kearney's men long to find an equaliser. The ball breaking to Jamie McGonagall on the 53 minute mark. The striker make. Moments later, Cole Rain were in front. Owen Bradley held off his marker and picked out James McGonagall. Responded. McCauley played the ball to substitute Jamie McGonagall and he fired home. And with minutes remaining, the balance headers drew level in dramatic fashion. McGonagall went from goal scorer to provider as Jordan Allen turned in his cross. Two minutes later, Coleraine doubled their advantage. Hard Beverland's cross eventually fell for McGonagall and he finished past Brian Neeson in the Carrick goal. And in stoppage time, teenager James McGonagall ran onto a long ball before going past the bottom of our defenders and firing in the winner. Securing Korean's first league win against Balnamar. Later, the Barnsiders had the ball in the net again. Jimmy McGonagall made space for the shot and fired low into the corner. In the context of this season, what an important kick. In it goes some Korean. They're winning 2-1. But McGonagall stepped up and sent O'Neill the wrong way. And up stepped Jamie McGonagall to slam it home. 1-0, Cole Rain. Over. McGonagall stepped up, clearly dispatching his second. Good play from the centre-back, Stephen O'Donnell. Spreads the ball out left to Jamie McGonagall. He tries to cut inside, glances up, gets the shot away. What a goal from Jamie McGonagall. Cole Rain, right back in this game. The 10 men of Crusaders concede their second of the afternoon. And what a way to concede.